Once upon a time, in a neighborhood pretty much like yours, perhaps, there were some children who played together all the time. There was Betty, Mike, Pete, and Larry. They had lots of fun digging in a vacant lot. One day, a new girl moved into the neighborhood. Her name was Susan. And she had a dog whose name was Skipper. Skipper was a cute little dog. And Susan was very fond of him. She liked to pet him and play with him. She liked to teach him tricks, too. Of course, Skipper loved Susan. He liked to play with her. And he liked to do the tricks she'd taught him. But fond as Susan was of Skipper, she didn't want to play with him all the time. And when the children who lived in the neighborhood came along, she was glad to see them. They invited Susan to play in the vacant lot with them. Larry said, come and play with us. We're digging a trench. Mike said, if you'll come and play with us, you can have one of our shovels. You should see our trench, Pete said. It's long and wide and deep, too. We're having fun. I'd like you to play with us, said Betty. I've been hoping a girl would move into our neighborhood. Please come. Susan decided to play with the children. She asked Skipper to come along. But Skipper refused to go. He didn't like the looks of these new children, and he wouldn't play with them. While Susan and her new friends went off to have a good time, Skipper stayed at home on the porch. I won't have anything to do with such funny-looking children, he told himself. So he just stayed there and sulked. Now there were some dogs in this neighborhood. They belonged to Susan's new friends. They played together too. When they saw Skipper sitting alone on the porch, they came over to ask him to join them. But when the first dog came up and invited Skipper to play, Skipper looked at him and barked a mean bark. I won't play with you, he said. You have a funny shape. The first dog's feelings were hurt, so he turned around and left. The second dog came up to Skipper. Come and play with us, he said. But Skipper didn't like the size of this dog. He was too big. So he snarled and barked at him, telling him to go away. The big dog backed away. He was a nice dog and didn't want to fight. Skipper looked at the third dog, who was still sitting on the lawn. And he snarled and barked again in the meanest voice he could manage. I don't like the color of that dog's coat, he said to himself. He snarled and barked some more. And he chased the new dogs all the way down the street. As Skipper trotted back to the porch, he thought to himself, I certainly won't play with dogs like those. I don't like their looks. I'll just wait until a dog who's the right size, shape, and color comes along, or I won't play at all. So Skipper just sat. 
and sat, and sat. But soon he got tired of sitting. He decided to look for something to do. No, Skipper, don't go into the garage. There's poster paint in there. No, Skipper. Skipper! Uh-oh. Poor Skipper. Poster paint all over him. And off he went to find Susan to ask her to clean him up. As he started down the street, he met the first dog. Go away, said the dog. Go away, you look funny. Skipper was surprised. No one had ever spoken to him like that before. But the new dog sounded so angry that Skipper thought he'd better leave. And then he met the second dog. The second dog looked at Skipper and said, Go away, you're funny. Maybe you don't remember me, Skipper said to him. I'm Skipper. You wanted to play with me before. Not now, said the second dog. Go away. He sounded angrier than the first dog. And just as Skipper was about to leave, the other dogs came up. Hiding behind the big dog, the third dog said, Go away, Skipper. We don't like you. Skipper had had enough. Look, he said, you're all being pretty silly. This is just paint on me. It's only on the outside. Inside, I'm no different than I was before. You're the silly one, said the big dog. We don't care what you're like on the outside. It's inside that matters. And inside, you're not a nice dog. And then the three dogs chased Skipper all the way home. Back on his front porch, Skipper felt very sorry for himself. He whimpered and complained in the saddest voice he could manage. In the vacant lot where she was playing, Susan heard Skipper. With the other children following her, she raced off to see what was wrong. As soon as she saw him, she knew what was wrong. She went into the house for soap, water, and a wash tub. In the backyard, all the children helped give Skipper a good bath. And while they washed him, Skipper did a lot of thinking. I have been a silly dog, he said to himself. Imagine not liking others because of their looks. While the children dried him, he thought some more. Size, shape, or color make no difference after all. Being nice is the only thing that counts. And being nice is something inside. Nothing else really matters. After Skipper was washed and dried, everyone went back to play in the vacant lot. The other dogs were there. Skipper said to them, I'm sorry about the way I behaved. I'd like to play with you now if you'll let me. After that, everyone played together and had a good time. And of course, Susan was very proud of Skipper.